Salutations guys from Caracas, Venezuela. We're in a nice area here known as Altamira and we're gonna go and try the world's most expensive McDonald's. Joining me is gonna be the lovely Victoria. Hola. And well, we're gonna go check it out. So, bueno, tú me dices, la gente me dice aquí que el McDonald's venezolano es, es uno de los más caros del mundo. Sí, aquí casi nadie nunca come McDonald's porque es demasiado, demasiado caro. Eh, de hecho, eh, tú comparas con otros países y le suben un montón el precio y hubo un tiempo donde este hubo un tiempo donde las comidas que te hacían no valían el precio o se valía nueve dólares una hamburguesa y era todo chimbita pues una horrible. vaina horrible pues y las papas en un momento como la crisis de Venezuela y eso fueron yuquitas yuquitas fritas en vez o de papas, no habían papas fritas no no te daban yuquitas fritas. fritas o en vez de darte nuggets te daban arepitas en serio <laughs> okay alright guys this is Venezuela everything and anything is possible we're gonna go ahead and check out the Venezuela McDonald's guys and we're gonna see how expensive it is. Me imagino que no hay este menú del dólar acá. Ah uh, no. No. <laughs> no dollar menu guys, no one dollar McChickens or cheeseburgers or any of that. Y otra pregunta, por lo menos en cada McDonald's en cualquier parte del mundo cambia su menú. Como tú me dijiste, empezaron a vender aquí y que arepitas en vez de nuggets y yuca frita que son cosas venezolanas pues. Pero, este, por ejemplo, ¿hay días que tienen promociones aquí o, eh, o todos los días la comida tiene el mismo precio? No, todos los días tiene el mismo precio, excepto a menos que la pidas que sí por Yomi. Ajá. Que ahí sí, sí ya tienen promociones de vez en cuando. Que por lo menos las papas por Yomi cuestan un dólar y si las pides aquí, las papas grandes. Si las pides por aquí, cuestan cuatro dólares. Ok, uh, for you guys that don't know, Yummy is basically like the Venezuelan version of uh, Uber Eats or any of these food delivery apps, so you can get a better deal there. But check it out. An outside Mac Cafe area. Let's go inside and check it out. Uh, the COVID protocols. Buenos días. Pero te cobran el mismo precio, era más barato por no tener. O te daban otra cosa en juguete, algo super chimbo. Por ahorita no sé ni qué you got a Monopoly game piece with the Happy Meal. Also, during the crisis days over here, they weren't giving out toys and the and the Happy Meals, but they'll charge the same. Y no tienen aquí las máquinas para un ordenador. No, eso no existe aquí. No existe. No, aquí tienes que pedir directo por ahí. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and just order in person. And well, these these are the menu options that we have. So we're now in the drive-thru guys because you get a better look at the menu here But there's some quick prices over here to look at uh, A McFlurry will be five dollars What can we look at? We can look at a chocolate sundae for three fifty You have the price in Venezuelan currency the Bolivares So it'll be fifteen million four hundred seventy thousand or three dollars and fifty cents The burgers, let's, let's look at a McChicken guys a nine dollar McChicken, ten nuggets, nine dollars. It comes down to man, almost a dollar for a nugget. 187 bolivares. That is almost forty dollars USD for all the things I ordered, which I'm gonna show you guys in a moment. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, guys. News flash. They don't accept American Express cards here, but visas are okay. You must say, there is nothing fast about McDonald's fast food so far in Venezuela. But our order is finally coming. Muchisimas gracias. Alright, I guess this is everything guys, but this is what $40 worth of McDonald's looks like. And this is a large drink by the way. Pedimos el grande, verdad? Bueno, yo le dije large. No, sí, sí, sí. Y este es el grande. Just to give you guys a, a look, here's the large fries. You can see the width there, the height of the thing. So that's what the large looks like here. Ah, uh, son las ketchups. Sí, pero la cambiaron la marca. Normally you get Heinz. But here we have a new ketchup to try. Quiero. In every McDonald's around the world, you'll find things that cater to the local palate, such as in India, you'll find vegetarian burgers known as Vata Pavs, or you'll find some sushi in Japan or whatever. 
Well, sadly here right now, I didn't find anything like that, but she did say during certain times, depending like if they don't have fries, they'll replace them with yuca, which is something that the people eat here a lot. But nonetheless, I just wanted to point that out. And now, now we'll go for, for the sampling. Dale. <laughs> Me saben igual que en cualquier otra parte del mundo las papas. Mm, algunas están más blandas. Sí, no las frieron suficiente. But for now, I'll say this for sure: the the fries is international standard that you're used to with McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Ahora papita igual. Mm -hmm. Ahora los nuggets, they look a little bit lighter than usual to me. Normally, I I think maybe they didn't fry them enough. And that's why we have the lighter color. Or maybe it's a different batter, I'm not sure. Mm. They taste like the old Burger King chicken tenders that Burger King removed in the States. It tastes just like this. No me saben a los nuggets tradicional de McDonald's. Creo que le falta sal. No, no te parece. No sé si sal, pero no tiene el mismo sabor que han tenido en cualquier otro país. Definitely, guys. The nuggets, they, it, it's a different animal over here. I'm going to try some of the sauces that they came with. They gave me a chipotle sauce over here. Esta es la alemana. The chipotle sauce is good. That is yummy. Y la alemana... Looks like a tartar sauce. Pica. Pica. No. Me gusta más la chipotle. Alemana. Como tartara. Mhm. Si pica. No pica. It's not spicy at all. Victoria is getting hit by the spiciness of the chipotle sauce. Yo no creo que en verdad pica. A mí no me está picando. A McPollo, guys. This is a McChicken. A $9 McChicken. It hurts me to say that, guys. Uh, during the college days, I will eat about three to five McChickens for a dollar each. Check it out. This is what $9 gets you in McDonald's in Venezuela. So... Vamos a ver qué hay aquí adentro. Porque por ahora parece igual un McChicken de Estados Unidos. You do get the sesame seeds on the bun. You don't get that with the regular McChickens back at home. But that's it. It's just mayonnaise, shredded lettuce, and the bun. And the chicken patty. For nine bucks. Let's try it out. The bread is completely different than the McChickens back at home. I'll, I'll give you that one off rip. But everything else is kind of the same. It's any other McChicken you expect to find, except for the huge price. I'll get a pro. Me gustó, pero para me sabe igual que cualquier McChicken en cualquier otra parte del mundo. No tiene ketchup ni otras salsas, solo tiene mayonesa. Solo mayonesa y lechuga y un pedacito ahí de pollo. <laughs> I will say at least for nine bucks the the chicken patty should be like dripping around. It should be bigger than the bread. Este el refresco lo sirven así porque compran la Coca Cola de dos litros en el formato en el supermercado normal y rellenan los vasos y ya. Eso es todo. So aquí no hay refills. No puedes rellenar el vaso. No, no. Eso no existe. All right, guys. So no unlimited refills here. And they don't have the soda machines squirting the soda out. So they just get the two liters and, and they fill up your cup. I mean, you don't get a refill. All right, we're going to try the Hero's Ketchup. How does it hold up against the world famous Heinz? Only one way to find out. Ketchup. 
Sí, pero es diferente a la Heinz. It's more tangy, this ketchup. But at the end of the day, it's ketchup. Very minor difference. Yeah, what are you? Do you know that it's more... And they also have water, but I think it's not. They don't have water to Coca-Cola. And the tea, you also have to try it, because now it's very hot. Or if it's good, it's good. It's good. Why do they put water to put less soda? To reduce, because... Pero todavía hacen eso, eso era antes en la crisis. Bueno, ahorita a mí no me sabe agua, pero es que no tiene gas porque no se Viene la botella. We're now going to try the Big Mac, guys, but they don't even call it a Big Mac here, it's called a, a Big Cheddar. But, I mean, to me, it looks like a, a Big Mac. Layers, look at the patty there. There's a pink sauce there, I'm hoping that's the Mac sauce. Lettuce. That's basically it. Very, 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 very simple burger you have going on here. This one was 10, 11, or 12 dollars. La carne me sabe distinta. It's a whole different beef in there. Yeah. Es carne molida. Sí, no, es otra carne. No es la que. It doesn't have the same taste that. Pero mira lo chiquito que. O sea, mira tu cara. Creo que por puro vegetal. She only got vegetables in her bite. Es que también las carnecitas son pequeñas. Es como si no supiera tanto la carne. Exacto. No, en verdad no sabe a carne de rey. No, sabe, no, esto es carne molida, mira. Pero no, no. sabe a nada. We're not sure what beef is used there, but it's... It's very... It's not the same McDonald's beef. I'm not saying the McDonald's beef is great or anything, but... It's not what you usually get. No, so far... Like... No, yo me quedo con la salsa chipotle. Ha sido mi favorito. Pero es que siento que mastico puro pan. ¿Puro pan? Es que... They're finita, yeah. The beef patty is like a slice of cheese. I decided to order this guy here as a backup. So this is like one of the fancy sandwiches they have now. You can see the bun is looks like a brioche. Oh, pero mira, aquí por lo menos tenemos tomate. We get tomatoes now. Along with salsa alemana, a slice of cheese, and the chicken patty, which is the same one from the Macpollo. All right. All right, get prueba tu este. Está mejor que las otras, está más fresca. Sí. Está más fresca, como... Y tiene más ingredientes, más... No, mira la calidad de la lechuga. Y mira la de esta. Es mejor. All right, so when you get the premium sandwich, you get better lettuce. I'm gonna go for this big bite right here. Oh, that's a big napkin. This is better because it has tomato and it has these pepinos. It gives more flavor. It's basically the same thing as the McPoyo, but you get a better bread. You get some thick slices of tomato there, and you get pickles to go with it, as well as the tartar sauce, or the salsa alemana, they call it here. But, yeah, overall, um, I'm not convinced. Este cuanto fue? 12, 13, 15 dólares? 13 dólares? 13 or 14 bucks for this sandwich here. So, here is my receipt. So, as you can see, the grand total is 187.85 bolívares. Once we go to our app over here, we put it in, we round it off to 188, and that equals $43 USD. So $43 USD for three sandwiches, 10 nuggets, two fries, two McFlurries, two drinks. ¿Cuánto es el salario mínimo mensual ahorita en Venezuela? Dos, tres dólares. Dos, tres dólares. All right guys, so the monthly minimum wage here in Venezuela at the moment is two to three bucks. 
So, si multiplicamos 3 por 2 es 36, esta comida es más cara, más cara que el salario anual de alguien. So, esto es una comida de lujo aquí. Right, this is luxury dining in Venezuela. The grand total of everything is more than some people's yearly salary, to give you an example. But I mean, you know, the, the thing here with the wage is that, okay, people are making officially three bucks a month, some people, but they do a lot of other things on the side. They hustle around, they do whatever they can to make ends meet. Liquids go here. Oh, no, abre. <laughs> ah, oh, por aquí arriba. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, pero. Ah, solo el líquido. Okay. All right, so you just dump your fluids in here. All right, and then todo lo demás sí que va aquí adentro. All right. Bam. All righty. Here we have the McFlurries guys, so this is what you can expect. This is the biggest one that they sell here. I wanted to try out this local one here because it's brownie, but with passion fruit. Passion fruit in Venezuela is called parchita and it's a, it's a big deal. And then this one is with pirulines, like little chocolate wafers, but the Venezuelan version of it. El helado de McDonald's es rey. Sí, pero no tiene más Después de este sirope que está aquí, no hay más sirope abajo. Puro... Es puro. ¿Mm? Es que lo, lo hicieron mal. Ella solo puso helado y no. tienen que batir eso junto. No, no lo hicieron. Bueno, aquí no se hace eso. El McFlurry, el pues son McFlurry, que es todo batido. Si pones las Oreo, yo batí en todo. No, eso. aquí pones el helado, le echas sirope por arriba y le echas. Y ya. Sí. Es como un sandwich entonces. Sí. Well. I haven't even tried it yet, but I already came down with that analysis there. Because normally what I see is, you know, they put it in the machine and boom, it stirs it up. It's a special machine. But here they just kind of put the vanilla ice cream, then they just put the toppings on top and enjoy. All right. Time to enjoy. No es que es malo, sino es la combinación de parchita con estos brownies. Yeah. It, it, it didn't sound right from the beginning, but I just wanted to try out something completely different. But this is this is a horrible combination. The passion fruit, it, it's a citrus kind of fruit. And then you mix that with chocolate brownie. It's more like chocolate cookies because they're they're crispy and vanilla ice cream and yeah it, it, it doesn't sound like a good combination and it isn't okay, <laughs> 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 Le dañó el sabor completamente a este, ¿no? Oh, look at her face. <laughs> no, está bueno. Del 1 al 10, ¿qué le da? Cero. Cero. Oh. All right. Victoria has spoken, guys. She gave it a zero. I'll give it... I don't know. I'll give it a, a two or one. The vanilla is good, but it's just chocolate and passion fruit. Not good. Anyways, time to try this one out. If you happen to find some pirulinas wherever you live, you can find them at, um, at Venezuelan restaurants. These little things here. Those are delicious on their own, just like that. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna go and grab one of these. This is delicious. Delicious. The hot fudge with the vanilla, with the little pirulinas there. Excellent combo. And goodbye to the world's most expensive McDonald's. And I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, 
not the best McDonald's. Some things had the same international quality. There were a couple things that were just completely different. And well, that's just the way it is here. What did shock me more than anything though was the price. 43 bucks for everything that was on that plate. That was a lot. Alguna otras palabras, Vicky? No, bueno, estaba relativamente bueno, pero no sé. Bueno, había cosas que están buenas, había otras que le le falta, pues digamos. Y ya pues. Anyways, guys, if you guys want to check out Victoria, I'm going to leave her social media link down at the bottom and do go check that out, guys. And yeah, that's it, guys. See you guys later from Caracas, Venezuela. One more thing to say about the McDonald's guys that I forgot to mention is the menu was very simple and small, not a very large menu, but the problem is that with the sanctions on Venezuela, it's very difficult to import certain things. So, you know, I think they, because of that, they try to keep things as simple as possible. Esta es la salida del estacionamiento. Okay, sí, esta es la salida y está el Automac. El Automac drive through here in Venezuela. All right, guys, that's it. Pero está como chiquito. Sí, no, está bien justo esta vaina. Yo, yo y en mi carro chiquito.